Miami, the city with most of the Cuban exiles that escaped the Castro regime, might have a ferry that connects the city with the island in the near future. The Obama administration recently approved the permit for many different businesses to apply for a ferry license that goes to Cuba, and immediately there was interest for officials from Miami saying that this could be a great thing for the city, Elliot. They say that although there's politics around it and the fact that many uh, Cuban Americans do not approve the warming up of relationships in between the U.S. and the, and the Cuba uh, regime, they do believe that bringing and building a ferry station will be good business for the city. How so? Because we already have 10 flights a day now. Yes. As you said, indicated there, there's a thawing of diplomatic relations between the two countries for the first time in 54 years. There's already those number of flights. Mm -hmm. What's the significance? Can you contextualize yes. the, the, the ferry for us? The ferry will be very important in, in, in the sense that today cargo shipments to Cuba are very expensive, prohibitive in, in airplanes. And although mo around half a million Americans go to the island every year, most of them Cuban Americans trying to reunify with their families, but they are unable to bring many of the cargo items that are prohibited to be acquired because of the embargo. Mm -hmm. And the embargo is something that is not in the table to be, is not to, in the table to be removed. It's something that has to get congressional approval. So there's a long, long battle to get that done. In the meantime, having a ferry will allow for many Cuban Americans to be able to cargo ship a lot of stuff that otherwise they couldn't. So that, that's the relevance of right now, right. Uh, allowing for this transit to come and go from the island to Miami. So it's another piece in the puzzle of chipping away at the embargo, of thawing relations between the two countries, of making the case ever stronger for Congress to lift the embargo, because as you said, it's not even tabled at the moment. Exactly. Republicans have indicated with in no uncertain terms that they would refuse and resist any attempt to do it. So it hasn't even been proposed, but it was something that Obama was particularly keen on for his second term in office to, to seek to restore these relationships because he felt that they were anachronistic and historical and served no purpose, harping back to, as I said, back to 1959. Um, where do you think, so where do you think it kind of goes from here in terms of trying to chip away at that? Is this something that is, would, something that is, is, is it, is it, is it going to be viable? Is, are, are they actually, is Miami going to approve? Because it, has it actually approved this ferry or is no, it something that's... They, this is something that they, what they're trying to do is, is doing the feasibility studies to see if there's this specific lot in the port of Miami that was targeted before by David Beckham to do the stadium for his MLS team. He wasn't able to convince the city. Now the city is trying to use that lot that is a prized lot. Many developers wanted to uh, create condos and develop properties I in see. there. They are saying, why don't we, instead of doing that, we create a ferry terminal that can serve, and they say, to the Republican politicians, they, they say in the mayor, Jimenez, he said, well, we don't do business with countries. We do business with businesses. Right. So if they're uh, ferry carriers that want to travel to Cuba, that's their business. But if they want to use our terminal, they're welcome to do so. It's playing a little bit fast and around the, the Right, a little bit fast and loose, somewhat, somewhat disingenuous. So they said no to the, uh, the, the world's sexiest man, as voted by US Magazine yeah. or People Magazine, <laughs> whichever it was. But they're not saying, they're not saying no to Cuban ferry, make, yeah. fer ferry operators. That's, okay, that's, that's what they say. I, I think this also has to do with the fact of creating um, infrastructure for the city mm -hmm. more than creating just another entertainment place because they have, they have several entertainment venues sure. in Miami. I think that this is an important step, although it's very complicated because of the historical connotation of the population of Miami. Many of Cuban exiles that were there and bow to prevent any way that the U.S. helps the Cuban regime as long as a Castro is at the top.